that just comes off. So nitrous is fun. Um, it's incredible for extra power. It's incredible for throttle response. Um, it just spools the turbo like crazy. Um, you get extra power, massive amounts of extra torque because the turbo is spooling up so much earlier. Uh, but it can be uh, destructive to the engine. Right, so today we're going to try and break the 600 mark. We've mapped it on V Power 474. We tried before, but the clutch decided they didn't want to play, so Will's put a nice new twin plate in there and we're going to turn the nitrous up. We've got functional, but you know, obviously it isn't a show car, so this is just for a bit of fun. We've got the solid state relay down here, which controls the nitrous solenoid, which is down here. We've got a 300 jet, which should give us 150 horsepower worth of extra power. The solenoid is pulsed using the Cymex, which then dictates how the nitrous solenoid works. So the solid state relay can pulse many times a second, kind of like a standard relay that can only do three or four times, which is why we're using a, a solid state one. Now hopefully it will all hold together. We will see shortly. Previously, and like in Fast and Furious, the nitrous solenoid was just switched on either with a button on the steering wheel, wah, or with a throttle switch. So if you went full throttle, the nitrous would kick in. Um, <laughs> exciting but horrific to drive because it is literally clicking a switch and nitrous gives you another 50 horsepower 100 horsepower and it can go a bit wild at that point so I like to control it with a Cyvex ECU so we got inputs into the ECU to say when the nitrous system is armed the Cyvex can control a bottle warmer using a, uh, a pressure gauge and back into the ECU so that it knows um, and keeps it at the right pressure and it knows when it's armed and can add the extra fuel through the existing injectors without having to run extra fuel solenoids. Uh, works really nicely, you can 3D map and shape the way that the power comes in or comes out um, so that you can either use the nitrous to spool it up and then fade it off once the, the boost is there or you can add it all the way through um, or any combination of those. Right, so you should be able to hear me whilst I'm in the car and I'm filming from the outside now. So just let me get my gear in place. Wicked. Right, got my dead cans. Never quite enough room to work with in here. So, here we go. Right, so nitrous is on. Okay.
scale on this. Okay, so another run. A bit more nitrous now. We're running 50% duty on those, uh, on the nitrous solenoid. So it's a 300 jet in there, capable of 150 horsepower. So 50% duty should give us 75 over the standard V-power map. So 475 should take us up to around a 550. So we're ready to rock and roll. If you enjoyed the videos that I'm creating please consider subscribing uh, it really helps um, YouTube push it out to a wider audience and obviously if you like the video give it a like so this is where we're at so far 545 on the last run there it was heading higher but the uh, spark plugs the spark is getting blown out so we're just off out to get some eights and hopefully put those in. But the difference you see between the standard V-Power map and the nitrous map, you know, we're like, what's that there? 210 going up to 380, nearly 400. It just picks up and yeah. <laughs> it tries to escape. So you want to see the impact that nitrous has? Look at the before and after. So 474 on the horsepower. And with um, 100 shot of nitrous, we're getting 560, but the spark wasn't very clean at that, so it needs some racing aids. Um, but the difference in torque is where you really notice that. So at uh, four and a half thousand, it was uh, about 230 pounds foot of torque. Now it's at uh, 500 and something pounds foot of torque. Absolutely mental acceleration that would be. If you get any comments or questions about uh, the nitrous install, uh, the, the way it's controlled through the ECU, or you've got your own experiences with nitrous, good or bad, um, please pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to every single one of them. But it didn't go all to plan. As you saw in that last video, um, the spark was blowing out a little bit at a 100 horsepower shot of nitrous. So um, we went off to get some um, slightly colder spark plugs so that it could run that. And um, we then discovered another issue. Um, danger to manifold really was danger to manifold. The shiny manifold that Will have bought, against my advice, I hasten to add, uh, the welds decided that they weren't going to play. So um, we're going to finish this another day. Once he's taken that manifold off and probably put the standard one back on because the standard one is superb. So I hope you found that interesting, hope you found it entertaining and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.